Greetings, this is the 10 ready practice test for Integrated Math 2, subpart 1, question number 7. Subpart 1 means no calculator, so there it is. This is a square root graph. It's kind of like the, or it is the inverse of a uh, quadratic, so usually I'd see this. Now in this case, you would have this sort of setup. But as we know, can't take the square root of a negative, so this part doesn't exist. It's only the positive numbers that we really worry about. Now, when we would do, uh, they're asking you to select a function that is graphed. So uh, if I were to look at this and to see it had moved, so say I moved it over here in a similar fashion. My focus would not just be on where the graph goes, but I would kind of focus on the vertex and see what it does. Um, so I'm going to choose this point here, right there at 0, 0. I guess I should choose a different color. I don't know what I was thinking. And see from this point, how much did it shift to get here? The first thing I know is that it went down negative 1. Now if I have that shift here, I would do y is equal to x. And I'd say like minus h and then plus k. But if this were to shift down 1, so is, let's say this is at negative 2, negative 1. My plus k would just go right here for my negative 2. Remember, it's the opposite because it's minus h. If you want to substitute in values, you can actually see that x plus Two, and this would be squared, of course. And that's what the quadratic version would look like. I'd focus on the vertex. Similarly, focusing on this point, I'm doing, well, if I could get my pen to go, down one, so negative one is the point, and then I'm at negative two, so I pick the same point. Should be easy to do then, right? f of x, so the function's value, x, and remember instead of minus 2 it's plus 2 because I'm, it's the opposite direction for that shift, and instead of putting in a parentheses and squaring it, I just put the square root. And for the uh, y value I'm going to do minus 1 on the outside because it's positive. That's the big situation here. Try to find either the vertex or a point that you can hold on to. You could pick any point, really, and just see uh, the equivalent shift from the parent function and notice that if it goes up or down, the sign is the same. And if you go left or right, that sign is going to be different. And that's true for cubes, it's true for squares, it's true for square roots, and lots of other function setups different sign, same sign, and that's it. So the answer to this one is C. Pretty easy to do that one, as long as you understand the rules of how to do minor translations for um, parent functions.